Hello, Frank. Frank, it's not here to. Don't tell me to calm down. My husband is not here to, and you are telling me to calm down. Frank, I think I should call the police. side of my head. Ah! That is it now. My prince, you have resorted to excessive drinking. All because of the two women you married at your own terms. Come off it, man. No, come off it! Just look at you. You are becoming more of a grandfather than the priest, than the young prince I've always known. And oh. one more thing, I learned that you no longer eat at all. <laughs> so you've been talking to Amanda, have you? Huh? I guess you actually sat down to hear our own lapses as well. Did you? Uh, my prince, does that really matter? My prince, you are the man of the house. You have to decide when to call this child a quit or you keep wallowing in depression. I guess you can see anything that you like. Eh? Go ahead, judge me. But before you do, let me ask you, do you know what it is like to be in a polygamous family? Tell me, please. I want to uh, hear. Uh, my prince, you signed up for this. From the first day, you decided to bring another woman into your home. Choose that for yourself. Take a closely look at your investments. You sold your plot of land in fresh garden estates just to establish businesses for your two wives. Who tell me who does that, my friends? And that has derailed your business so far. Frank, see here, you have no right whatsoever to judge me. Because you don't know where those two women that call themselves my wives have stolen my life to live in hell. Each and every day I finish from that office. I am scared of driving back home. I can't even come back home. Because there's no fresh meat trouble waiting for me. And they will do everything, everything within their powers to involve me in that trouble. Couple with the one from the office. See, let me tell you something. Eh? I'm in this alone. So you just sit back and relax, okay? If you cannot help me, don't come and judge me. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, my prince, if my words hurt you. I'm very sorry. But I'm your friend. If I don't tell you the truth, who will? I'm only trying for us to find a solution today because they say a friend indeed is a friend indeed. See, my prince, drinking yourself to stupor will not solve this problem. Rather, it will make it worse. You need to sit down and think because this is draining you both mentally and physically. You need to find a solution to this before it is too late.
Ты что ты дни? I want to talk to you about something. Say whatever you need to say and go, please. I just need some, please. It's actually about my proposed business. What about it? I was thinking you could raise about 500 to 700,000 for me to swing in fully. Wait, you're joking, right? Please tell me that you're joking. I know so transferred one million naira into a, your account. All I've seen is the shop that you paid for. Till now, I'm yet to hear about the goose or even see of any transaction about what you're going to stock in that shop. And now you're coming to me to ask me for more money. Wait, let me ask you. Where do you think I get all this money from? Or you think I plucked them from the tree? Oh, I have a farm on the fertilizer that goes, goes. Oh, Will you talk? Let me talk! Now, get out of here before I batter you with this wife. I will put them in your face right now. Oh, get out of here! Stupid thing. I will. That will come and help me fix my car now. The car has been here for days now. You have not even come to fix it. You don't have chance. That will send one of your boys. Eh? Send one of your boys. See, I, I have not been able to go to work or go to any engagement without a car. Eh, please. Just send one of your boys and then come and fix it. Eh, please. I'm begging you. Eh, please. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Eh? Uh, okay, I'll be waiting for you. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you, eh? Thank you so much. I beg, eh? Thanks. Baby. Yeah? Baby, please, I, I want to talk to you about something. Please, eh? Whatever you want to say, can wait. Eh? I'm on my way for an engagement now, and I don't want to be late. Aww, okay, baby. please. You know that I'm going to be going on public transport, and Frank is not even here to take me out because he's out of town. So whatever it is, please let it wait, eh? Please. Baby, please now, please. See, it's not a long topic, oh. I just want to tell you about my business and the money you promised me. That's all, please. Wait, 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 wait. This one. Were you created to frustrate me? Were you created to ruin my life? I sent you money, my own hard earned money. You spend all those things on material things. You went on, on bag spree, Louis Vuitton bag, uh, uh, Versace bag, and all the rest. And now, when you spend all those money on those on those on those things, you want to come back and collect money from for that Christmas. Hey, see, eh? Let this be the last time you ask me for money again. Are you listening to me? Come on, Fastache, I bought this. It's not a crime. I won't use the money to buy something again. Come and give me money. Come and give me money. Hmm. My dear, do you know that my husband has stopped coughing out money for me suddenly? He has suddenly turned to a stingy man overnight. Eh? Do you know he was even scolding me that the previous money he gave me, I used it to buy this, I used it to buy that. Can you imagine that? Uh -uh. Hmm. Does oh, wow. he also say no to your co-wife? Uh, I don't want to take on me now. Eh? What is my own there? I am telling you what is paining me. What, I, what, what is happening to me? What's my business with the owner? Ha. You see the problem I have with you? It's your business. You are supposed to know. Don't be feeling less concerned, Jerry. You're supposed to know if he's secretly giving me her money while he tells you there's no money. We are that girl, Rita. Hey! You have a point there. Honestly, you have a point. Don't you know that? If he tells you there is no money, ask him for money. Now, wait in person, look, no eye. Now, he made stick pass him. Ask him, he says that he gives you money for upkeep. Uh -huh. Yes, after all, your husband is not a small man. Uh -huh. He's 
the only son to the king, uh -huh. and that makes him the heir apparent to the uh -huh. job. So why will he not have money? Bill him! Tell him you need to keep up, you need to do this, you need to do that. Hey. That's money! I'm a, that is why you are I here. I am going to collect more money. That is why I am here. Thank and you. this time, once I get it, we are going to shop it. <laughs> we are going to shop That is not a... See, now say you must give me money today. Oh. You will give me money today. Now say you will give me money. What is wrong with you, say? Uh -uh. I have told you that I don't have money. I am broke. Besides, what even now? I took money, enough money last month for food stock. Okay. And I don't even eat in the house anymore. Okay. Is that all not enough? That's your business, you also. Know, if you like you eat in this house, if you don't like living, that is your business, also. I cannot be giving a man that money. I cannot be giving a man that money. I don't have money. You will give me to that. Leave me alone. Leave me now. Give me money. Leave me this minute. You will give me this. 